Hey guys, it's Chris. From creatures from the underworld that are rumored to haunt spooky forests, to monsters that have only been seen once and never witnessed again and more, join me as I show you nine cryptids from the United States. Number nine, Jersey Devil. In the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, there was a woman named Jane Mother Leeds. Leeds had given birth to many children, and one night, she was giving birth to what would be her 13th. But unlike most, the birth didn't please her, so she decided to make some sort of occult prayer. Let this one be the devil. According to the legend, that's exactly what happened. Upon its birth, the baby grew horns, wings, and a tail. It flew up the chimney of her house and went out into the world. This is the origin story of the cryptid known as the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil is one of the more prominent cryptid legends in the world. The first sighting of the creature came in 1812, when Joseph Bonaparte, the older brother to Napoleon Bonaparte, said he saw the creature near his New Jersey estate. It was not the last sighting at all. In 1909, over a thousand sightings of the Jersey Devil came that year alone, including some soldiers who saw the creature, shot it with a cannon, hit it, and it still lived. Fueled by this and the finding of some tracks that didn't match creatures of the area, bloodhounds were brought in to try and find the creature. But the bloodhounds apparently refused to follow the tracks. This had to indicate something rather supernatural and not normal. If this were a bear or a large mountain lion, dogs would almost certainly chase after it. The sightings still didn't end there. In fact, people claim that they've seen or taken pictures of the Jersey Devil to this day. It's a pervasive myth that has become a part of the culture of the state, despite it being over 100 years old, showing the power that these cryptids can have. What do you think, though? Is this morbid story of legendary satanic creatures complete nonsense, or could there have been a grain of truth? What's really going on here? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. And while you're doing that, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots of informative and exciting videos videos coming out all the time, and you probably don't want to miss them. Number 8. Bigfoot If you were to make a list of famous cryptids of the United States, there's little doubt that Bigfoot would be on that list, because it's one of the main places the legendary creature is seen, discussed, and rumored to live. But if you aren't sure exactly what Bigfoot looks like, he's described as a large, hairy woodland creature that is said to reside somewhere in North America. Mainly, he's been spotted in backwoods parts of the United States and in Canada in forests and mountainous areas from the Appalachians to the Rockies and more. What makes Bigfoot such a compelling legend is that people often describe him the same way. What's more, the way that they describe him is clearly different from all other primates out there and humans too. That's why it's such a persistent legend and story. If so many have seen him, it makes no sense for this creature not to be real. Bigfoot is tall, has lots of hair, walks like a human, and yet he's not a human. Thus why it's easy to identify if you see one. There have been so many sightings of Bigfoot over the years that it's become a part of pop culture. Even the mascot for beef jerky in one brand's case. It's been the source of numerous shows on Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, and more. It's even starred in movies like Harry and the Hendersons. So are most sightings of Bigfoot false? Absolutely, yes, many of them are hoaxes, but there are some who will die claiming that they did see Bigfoot. In fact, there are even stories of beings like the skunk ape that are said to be variations on Bigfoot. So while there are many who say this mythical cryptid is fake, there are many others who will forever claim he's real. Number 7. Wendigo most famous for its Native American telling, the Wendigo is a monster that is not born from a god or a fusion of creatures, but from man itself, though there are several ways for it to be born. Sometimes the Wendigo could be born when a spirit inhabited the body of a man and caused them to become quite monstrous in their demeanor and mind. Different incarnations have a man or a woman becoming so desperate that they would result in cannibalism, and the very act of that would turn them into monsters that would be ravenous with hunger. Its appearance has taken various shapes, but it's known for having tight skin over its entire body, bloody lips, and a gaunt figure that is almost always hungry and looking for food. Wendigos have become a key part of mythology for the Native American people, and they've been used in various other media, including being in the second episode of Supernatural, where it would attack campers and use them for a meal. That's an episode I just watched a few days ago. Number 6. The Flatwoods Monster on September 12, 1952, in West Virginia, a sighting of a very unique cryptid took place. It all started with a fireball that came from the sky, and this fireball was visible not just in one place, but all over the nation. 
Confirmed reports of it came from California all the way up to West Virginia, making this a documented part of history. What comes next, though, might be up for interpretation. Edward and Fred May, who were in West Virginia, saw the fireball, and then they realized it crashed on a nearby farm. They took their friend, their mother, and a neighbor and went to the crash site. There was an odd mist at the site, and a metallic sound of sorts was filling the air. They went in closer to investigate, when suddenly a pair of red eyes looked at them through the mist. It was then that they saw the creature in its full form. The creature was 10 feet tall and had a glowing green body. The creature hissed at them and started to approach, which led to them fleeing for their lives. They told others what happened and the people of the small town went to look for it, but they found nothing. There were some remains and deposits that definitely teased that something was out there, but what? It's unknown, and being that the creature was never seen again, it's likely to never be truly known. But whether by delusion, an illusion, or something in between, there was something in those woods that night. The Flatwoods Monster remains one of the more unique cryptid stories ever told, and in fact, it was used as part of the History Channel series Project Blue Book, recounting the events and revealing the truth behind the monster, if there is any element of truth, that is. Number 5. Thunderbirds while many cryptids are land-based creatures, there are a few that have taken to the skies and inspired many tales. And one is called the Thunderbird. According to legend, it's a mythical bird that was so huge that it could grip something as large as a whale in its talons. Adding to its power, it was also responsible for the thunder and lightning we see and hear in the sky. Here's the thing though, if you discount the thunder and lightning powers that were clearly mythologized, a creature like the Thunderbird could actually have lived. There have been many bones and fossils found of birds that had massive wingspans, including ones that could possibly have captured large fish and carried them across the sky. Now to be fair, there are accounts of these Thunderbirds honestly being real, including accounts of attacks in the Great Lakes area such as Illinois, where one picked up a child and almost took it away before the mother came and got the massive bird to leave them alone. So regardless of whether it's Native American folklore or something more straightforward in nature, these particular cryptids might have an element of truth to their stories. What do you think? Could there have been some prehistoric bird that did carry away large animals? A legend like that could easily pass down through generations over thousands of years. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Number 4. The Monsters of Crater Lake National Park In Oregon, there's a supernatural place called Crater Lake National Park. And despite its having a lake that is known for the purity of its water, there are many ghosts and monster stories surrounding both the lake and the park itself. One example is when a tourist named Mrs. Maddie Hatcher was on a rowboat with her friends on the lake and randomly decided to look down. When she did, she saw something really big swimming underneath the boat. That thing must have been a block long, Mrs. Hatcher told a reporter for the Fort Myers News Star in May of 2002. To me, it looked like a dragon. They went to shore immediately and told people what they saw, but no one believed them. One of the attendants to the park, Ranger Jan Kerwan, has noted many times that he's seen fires emerging from the nearby Wizard Island. Yet when they go to check on it and see what's going on, there's no one there. And there's no trace of the fires that he saw. Many other tales haunt this place too, including one of a particular haunted tree trunk that has floated in the lake for over a hundred years, that if disturbed will cause the weather to shift and become stormy and dangerous. Native American legends tell tales of ancient brothers who fought and died on the lake, but their spirits remain. This is not your typical cryptid tale, but then again, is there such a thing as a typical cryptid tale? Number 3. Boggy Creek Monsters there is a legend in a rural city of Arkansas of a pair of creatures called the Boggy Creek Monsters, or the Fook Monsters, and the legend is so prevalent in the culture of the United States that it actually spawned two different drive-in movies. That's the power of cryptid tales. According to the story, in 1971, a pair of seven-foot-tall creatures came out of the swamplands in Arkansas and walked around until they found a family cottage in the backwoods of the area. The creature then proceeded to attack the house and try to get at the family inside. They were so persistent and aggressive that one actually got its arm inside the house and tried to grab one of the girls. And when one of the boys went outside to see what was going on, the creatures tackled him. Though the family grabbed their shotguns and eventually scared away the monsters, their tales have continued. There is one report from 2000 where a bow hunter claimed to have been attacked by one of these creatures. There have been other sightings of them as well, making one wonder what exactly is going on at that creek. You won't catch me there, that's for sure. Number 2. Chupacabra 
While it is true that the chupacabra is not exclusive to the United States, it is a creature that often gets mentioned in the states, especially places like Texas. This strange creature had its origins in Puerto Rico and Latin America, yet its legend grew via various sightings in Mexico and the southern parts of the United States. That's why the word chupacabra comes from Spanish. It literally means goat sucker. The telltale signs of this creature were the three puncture wounds in the sheep or goats that the chupacabra would dine on. After biting these farm animals, the chupacabra would suck their blood out of their bodies much like a vampire. The fear of the chupacabra spread so much that people in Texas in 2005 believed it was what killed their livestock during a spree. Though oftentimes these mysterious creatures were shot and later revealed to be mere coyotes. Many scientists believe that the chupacabra is a made-up monster, based on a creature seen in the movie Aliens, and there's no definitive proof that such a vampiric creature exists out in the world today. But that has not stopped some from believing in the legends of the creature and believing it still exists. Number 1. McFarlane Bear there are many legends of bears that are well beyond the scale and scope of bears we have today. A great example is the hedgehog bear that one Californian claimed to see that looked like the size of the bear but had the spines of a porcupine, though few have ever seen it. However, one more famous cryptid that existed for some time was the tale of the McFarland bear. This was a bear that was shot and killed in an area of northwestern Canada and was believed to be a new species of bear because of how large it was. Some even thought it was a species of bear previously thought to be extinct. One real-life example of this animal is the short-faced bear, which science tells us has been extinct since the end of the last ice age. That was 11,000 years ago. If the McFarlane bear legend is to be believed, it could have been one of a small, isolated population of this prehistoric beast that managed to survive through modern times without encountering humans. It was eventually given to the Smithsonian Archives for study, which didn't happen until History Channel's Monster Quest did an episode on the giant bear attack. Of course, a scientist from East Tennessee State University came in and said that it was 100% a regular female brown bear. And the experts even claimed that it wasn't that big at all. Despite this shooting down of the legend, there are plenty of other bear cryptids that are said to exist out there somewhere. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at the cryptids of the United States and a few beyond its borders? Which ones intrigued you the most? Which ones do you kind of want to know more about? Which ones have you heard from various sources? Do you know any other cryptid that should have been on the list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.